Shalom, and welcome back to Code Searcher. Hey guys, listen, I forgot last night was, uh, I had supposedly done a live stream and also was a, had a commitment with Chris to do a Google Hangout and completely uh, was exhausted and forgot to do that. Um, so I apologize to Chris for that. And uh, we will reschedule that and get get going on that. But I did have something I wanted to share with you um, in this particular video. And then I'm going to do another one with um, some more of the review uh, of some interesting code finds. But first, let me read to you this out of Ephesians. And this is from the ISR. Become then imitators of Elohim as beloved children. And walk in love, as Messiah also has loved us, and gave himself for us as a gift, and an offering to Elohim for a sweet-smelling fragrance. But whoring in all uncleanness, or greed of gain, let it not even be named among you, as it is proper, among set-apart ones. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coarse jesting, which is not fitting, but rather thanksgiving. For this you know, that no one who whores, nor unclean one, nor, nor one greedy of gain, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the reign of Messiah and of Elohim. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for, uh, for because of these the wrath of Elohim that comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not be partakers with them. For you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Master. Walk as children of the light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, and unrighteous and truth, and righteous and truth, proving what is well pleasing to the Master. Have no fellowship with the fruitless works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And that word could also be translated as expose them and in the king james version it does say expose the unfruitful deeds of darkness for it is a shame to even speak of what is done by them in secret but all matters be reproved that are manifest by light for whatever is manifested is light that is why he says wake up you who sleep and arise from the dead and the messiah shall shine upon you See then that you walk exactly, not as unwise, but wise, redeeming the times, because the days are wicked. Then do not be foolish, but understand what the desire of Yahuwah is. Do not be drunk with wine, which is in loose behavior, but be filled with the Ruach, speaking to other, each other in psalms and songs of praise, in spiritual songs, singing and striking the strings, of the heart of the, of the master, giving thanks always to Elohim the Father, in the name of our master Yahuwah, Yehoshua, excuse me, it has there, Messiah, subjecting yourselves to one another in fear of Elohim. What does that mean, subjecting yourselves uh, in Elohim? That means when you see a brother or a sister who is out of line, you, you, tr you go to them and you, you try to counsel them. You take someone with you, a witness. And, and if they reject you, um, then there's other protocol that, um, that takes place. But when you present truth to someone and they absolutely reject it, then there is another motive behind that and is demonically driven. And I will remind you, those um, that will be filled with with a spiritual drunkenness in the end days and strong delusion. Strong delusion. Now, I'm telling you all this because I want to expose some darkness and some manipulation, some witchcraft. Um, okay, and so th there's a, a trend going on right now where people are going to this site right here. That is, is called Bible Code Wisdom. And it says here, uh, welcome to the first ever free Bible code works, uh, code search website. That sounds really catchy, don't it? Free Bible code. But see, it's not really free because see, there's ads all over it. And every time you go to it and all these ads come up and you put in queries and searches and stuff, Alex Thompson gets paid for it. 
Alex Thompson is not even a Christian. He's not even a believer. He's a businessman in Los Angeles that has several businesses and jumped on the Bible Code bandwagon with this free website. And folks, I want to show you how easily you can be manipulated and deceived. And I, I know some of you are following a particular person on YouTube who doesn't even care enough to invest in a credible search in, uh, program to search codes. So I want to do a demonstration to, to show to you how very easy it is to manipulate this program on this site right here. This is not free, folks. This is causing souls to be deceived, to be drawn into a strong delusion. The very first word that you put in is the initial search term. So what I have put in here is what many of you are interested in right now, looking at this particular YouTuber who is telling you rapture is going to happen in May. I'm going to demonstrate to you what a p-value does. If you notice on his channel, many of his words, some of them he has to break up, like rapture or rapier, because rapture doesn't appear in the, in the coded King James Version of the New Testament. It does not. And I will demonstrate that. You can put in rapture and search, and it comes up zero matches it's not there but that youtuber manipulated the word and called it well let's look for rapier because it's in latin rapier and that's that's not even the latin word so let's do that let's do rapier and see what happens what do you know it comes up right here. So first level of manipulation. So now we have what's called a matrix at this site. Okay. And we are looking at roughly 884 letters, which is not a very big search uh, area. And I can tell you another thing. The English letter has a very high p-value, higher than, than, than Hebrew. And I'm going to show you in the Hebrew the same kind of demonstration. The same thing happens in Hebrew if you only use two, three, and four-letter words. Now, so here we got rapier. But if you look down at the bottom, it, it tells you some other things that you can find. Most of them are in the plain text, like rapier war, rapier god, Rapier Jesus, Rapier Love. Those are those are plain text words that are in there. So we could we could hit like Rapier and Love. Watch. And you'll see love comes up. It actually comes up and it's an ELS. I figured it would have been in a plain text, which is usually the case. Because I did another table right here, which I the initial search term was Hitler. And so, for the, for the sake of demonstration, I put in a series of three-letter um, words, like God, little g, May, which is a very popular month in the codes right now, codes, and the word sex. And what do you know? They all come up in the same place. And then it, tell, it gives you suggestions down at the bottom. What else may be there? Hitler, God, May, sex, Jesus. You see, this is a manipulation, folks. You're depending, and, and all these ads that keep popping up right here, every time I clip on and I, and I share, and look, it's 1.2K that's been shared there, and I don't know how many times there's been a hit on this particular website. But every time you do, he's getting royalties from these ads that are popping up. That's why it's free. And some of you are falling right into this. And what's going to happen is the Father's going to give you over to a strong delusion where you believe a lie. And you become under the control of demons. Because what you're going to see is May is going to come and go. 
The Yellowstone caldera is not going to implode. There is not going to be a rapture in May. And, and I'm sorry if you get mad at me for telling you the truth. But it has to be said, folks. There is those that are out there who are contracted to sound like they are Christian. They'll even pray in the name of Jesus and say, this channel is all about Jesus, but they don't talk about the gospel. They show you a bunch of vegetable soup and manipulation and make you think that you're seeing something and you're not. Folks, this can be proven mathematically as nothing more as random occurrence. I can put in literally, you know, any number of three-letter words that's it's going to come up here. Let's go to the Hebrew and I'll show you how, how it happens in the Hebrew. Which I have roughly in, in this area right here about the same thing. Same amount of letters. But it's in Hebrew. So let's put in a three-letter word, may. How about may? In this matrix alone. And see how many times may comes up which is Mem, Aleph, Yod. Enter. Look at that. That's called p-value. And it has a very high p-value. Why? Because it's only three letters. And when you're looking for only three letters in 884 letters, you're going to find it a lot. Folks, I'm telling you this out of love. Some of you may receive it. M many of you are going to reject it. And you're going to be delivered over to strong delusion. I cannot get that point to you any clearer. There's nothing else I can do to, to, con to, to convey to you the importance of strange fire. When you're playing with things like this and you're manipulating people because your self-esteem is so low that you need to be needed and so you're willing to risk everything, defy all truth when it's shown to you by multiple people yet you still do YouTube videos because you need to be needed declaring yourself a prophet, declaring yourself a Levite. I want to take you to a table that Glazerson just put out. And I, I wasn't actually going to show you that in this video, but I'm going to now because I'm being led by the Holy Spirit to do so. This was put out by Rabbi Glazerson recently. And what it says here in his access term is those, that, those of them that search the codes who are merited and I'll, I'll put the link to the video that he did. Well, here it is here. That's the access term. So I, I thought when I first saw that video, I wonder who is there. If it's talking about people who are merited, let's go see who's there. And folks, in, in one case, I was not surprised, but in, in others, I was astounded at the clustering of the names because this first, middle, and last names here, very strong detail. Okay, so here's the access term here. So obviously, first thing I look for is Jonathan, which is here in the blue. It goes down and stops in that noon in the very name Jonathan. So we got Jonathan, Jonathan. Matthew also appears just a few lines down, written this way in the green. It's also here. It's here three times. Matthew. Now, Rabbi Glazerson's name happens to be Matthew as well. It's Mattis Yahu Glazerson. So Matthew is here three times. Chris Ray is also here. Look how Chris Ray is connected to Matthew. Here's the name Chris, and here's his last name right on top. Here is Sean's name right here. I had to add to Va because Sean is only three letters. Um, and Sean comes up in a plain text right there. But not only that, Sean's name is connected to me over here, Matthew. And you see Sean's name in the yellow with the shin in his last name, Mitchell. Sean Mitchell right there. So first and last names right there. 
the yellow word that shares that shin in the middle of the access term and coming to rest right there, zadik or righteousness, is computers. That's the word computers. But I want to take you to a... Uh, also, the ephod is here as well, Chris. I thought that was amazing, that the ephod, because we have also shown that the Bible codes is a modern-day ephod. As a matter of fact, there's an access term that says that. Um, I've, I've shared that. But here's the year. Top Shinai Vav, 2016. We've also got Zophim, which is the codes, or hidden. And Moed, appointed. Moed is pointed here as well. Also, this is really amazing, folks. Glazerson found this, which is Aura Hasod, which is the hidden light. But then when I looked at it, I looked this way, and I found the candle, or the light, of Yahuwah, and L. I don't want to say the small G word, but or the big G word, the light of L, the light of Elohim, is the other way of saying that. Right there, vertical. So you got hidden light in the light of Elohim, right there. Also, the Kadosh, crossing over. But then, so for, for some of you that, that are, have been pounding me about teaching you the truth about the name and the restoration of that, let me show you the verse that the Yod from Jonathan appears in, right here. And this is in uh, Genesis 12, verse 8. And it says, and he removed, I have partial, the partial verse highlighted, but I'm going to read the whole thing. And he removed thence unto a mountain, I'm in some mountains, on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent, having Bethel on his west and high on his east. Check this out. He built it an altar unto Yahuwah and called upon the name of of Elohim. And this next one I got in the Vav of my name, which is Genesis 42 16. And, and it's also a parcel, it's in around the middle of it, but I'll since, uh, read the whole thing. Send one of you, let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, so that your words may be proved. That's what I have highlighted there. That your words may be proved whether there be any truth in you. Right there with the Vav. Then this verse with the noon. And by and a reminder, this is not a table I found. This is Glazerson found this table. His name is also there. Rip's name is also there. There is one person Ironically, who is not there? And I'll give you one guess on who that is. We are in. Uh, this is Exodus. Shomos. Many of you who don't speak Hebrew, I, I do that so that you can see that I'm telling you the truth on where the book is. 24-7. And he took the book of the covenant and he read it in the audience of the people. And they all said, all that Yahuwah had said, we will do and be obedient. And that runs right through the top of the access term itself. Uh, and then down here, I had this highlighted, which is in Vachra, 14th chapter, verse 13. We'll go there. Um, it is uh, it is the most holy. Yeah, you know, of, of the priest, the, you got kodosh here, and of the most holy, uh, the kodeshim. And then the next verse, that yellow, it is yellow, is Vakra, chapter eighteen, verse two. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. And I've been doing that, Ephraim. Next line, 
I think that's it. That's, uh, that's all the verses I brought up on that. Just a quick, you know, and I just started looking at this one last night, and I was astounded the detail I found in it so far. And I'm sure there's much more. The, the one personally about me is is loaded with every detail I could think about about myself. So uh, the important thing is there's misinformation out there to deceive you that because the enemy is cunning, folks. He is very cunning, and he will appear to you even as an angel of light, and he will say the name of Jesus, and he'll pray in the name of Jesus, and lead you to, to Jesus, and bless you, but he'll, you know, exalt himself, uh, what you know the rest. So anyway, um, shalom, and be looking for the next video, because we got some interesting things to talk about, folks. Be blessed.